Hi, I'm Liam Murphy, and today I'll be presenting our weather station project. Nico Van Zyl could not be here today, so it'll just be me. At the base of the weather station, we have a wooden base created out of several blocks of wood. The stem of the weather station is made out of PVC piping with two T connectors and two elbow connectors. On this elbow connector, we have the wind speed sensor. On the other, we have the rain gauge. And on the center, we have the Raspberry Pi. And on the side, a temperature, humidity, and pressure sensor. The wind speed sensor works with a reed switch. There is a magnet here underneath this cap. When it rotates, it closes the reed switch and sends a pulse to the Raspberry Pi. Okay. This is the rain gauge. At the top you can see there is a funnel. This is a, a specific area as it, required, it, it is required for the calculations of the rainfall. Inside the compartment you'll see a bucket that tips side to side. I believe that it tips at about 5 milliliters. When it tips there is a magnet in here. It closes this reed switch and that also sends a pulse to the Raspberry Pi. This is the main compartment that holds the Raspberry Pi. We have put a hinge on it so you can see inside. At the bottom you see there are two USB uh, connectors that are plugged in, an Ethernet, RJ45, and the power. We've also interfaced with the GPIO pins uh, through a, an old IDE ribbon cable which goes to our other sensors. This compartment holds the temperature, humidity, and pressure sensors. As you can see from the main compartment, the ribbon cable comes in here and plugs into this QB patch board. Down here is the DH22 sensor, which measures the temperature and humidity. And this is the BMP085 sensor. Both of these are from Adafruit.com. Before, when I showed you in the main compartment, there were two USB connections. Those were female to male connections, which allow you to plug in a mouse and a keyboard. Also at the Pi, there's an HDMI connection. We have to hold there so you can plug an HDMI cable and plug in a monitor. I'll log into the Pi now. So this is the operating system that is booted. Originally I did create a command line program for the weather station, but then I was challenged further into making a GUI for it. So I'll start the graphical user interface this is Raspberry Pi's uh, desktop environment. I've created a shortcut for the weather station, so we just open it, and it launches this interface. And there are three buttons, read info, view current readings, and log to text file. If you read the information, it just gives details about the sensors, uh, bibliography, view current readings. We'll give the current readings. Is temperature 17.6 degrees Celsius, humidity 47.8%, pressure, altitude, sea level pressure, wind speed, and rainfall. And I can update this by pushing the update button. The current readings can be delayed though, as the DH22 sensor has to require accurate timing, and it can only do that when the Pi's resources are low. If I go to the log to text file, I can enter how long I want to log, log for. So let's say one minute. File of the text name. Hello world.txt. The weather station only uh, logs once per minute, so we'll only get one reading into this text file. We'll start the reading. And now it says now logging for one minute in the text file hello world.txt. After the uh, time you've entered and it's finished recording the logging sorry it will present finish logging please cancel log to return so if I click cancel log it will return me back to the menu now if I go to the destination of where it's saved the text file here we are hello world.txt let's open it and it's given a date the time of recording Temperature, humidity, pressure, altitude, 
sea level pressure, wind speed, and rainfall. Um, now I'll show you the uh, actual program file. I'll do it through uh, the command line because idle is very laggy. So this is my program. We have the import time, import GPIO, all these different libraries that will require it. Uh, here we can see that I've interfaced uh, with the GPIO for the read switches, making up a pull up uh, resistor. The DH22 sensors uh, assigned to an object here. And here's the pin for that DH22 sensor. Here, the uh, GUI starts from TK into import asterisk. Windows equals TK creates the windowed application. This sets the minimum and maximum resolution, so it's a locked uh, size. Window.title. This uh, puts the title at the top of the window, such as up here, Pi at Raspberry Pi. That's the title of a window. Here we have the photo image. This is the image that you saw in the program. And it is placed at x equals 0, y equals 0. Class G switch is the class containing functions dedicated to uh, switching between menus. So it forgets and places the different GUI elements. So this is for the main menu. Info. This is a wind speed. Although this is not an actual GUI element, this is actually just a uh, function that constantly checks for wind speed as well as the rainfall. Here are my calculations. The radius equals 0 0.08 meters. Distance is 2 pi r. And yeah, this constantly loops, checking and checking if those read switches have been activated. Um, and that is done through a thread, which is later uh, called at the end of the program, or technically the start. This is the current function, which just updates when you push the update button. It also uh, it controls the GUI elements for the current menu. Here I have uh, some error control. When the DH22 sensor cannot get any uh, readings, it will just spit out errors. And this will freeze the program, as you might have seen. If it freezes for 8 times, which is roughly 16 seconds, it will just give the values 0 and 0 for temperature and humidity, and will just continue to the current menu. These are just some other functions for the logging menus. This is the function for the actual logging that's done. So when you uh, push start log, it will loop, sleep for about a minute, uh, take all the readings, and then down here it will assign it to entry string, and then that is then written to a file which is declared down here. Uh, this function here which makes sure that the uh, data that you entered into the time for log is a is an integer, a number, so it does not get any errors. This class here is dedicated to uh, just defining all the elements that there are in each menu. So here we have a main menu which has all the buttons, which is declaring the buttons here, and then it is uh, placing them in, and that's for info, log menu, current, and has the actual initializing. This is where it calls the G switch class, uh, the button menu, that's a global button, G define, that's uh, calling, or in the object of the class G design. Yeah. 
here we see the start of a new thread for the wind speed function, which will be constantly running. And this is the window.main loop, which is required with TK enter. So, here I've shown you with the monitor connected to the Pi, but say you want to actually use it, you disconnect the HDMI and connect to it wirelessly or somewhere else with another connection. We did set up an RDP server, but when you connect it to a network, you have to figure out the IP of the Pi. So, if you type the command hostname slash capital I, it will give you an IP. Here it's 192.168.1.101. We will then enter that IP into a, another computer on the same network or LAN via remote desktop protocol. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate to you remote desktop connection. Here we're using the inbuilt Windows application. Uh, this is compatible with the remote desktop server that's on the Pi. So this is the IP I showed you earlier. Enter. It'll give you some warnings. Just push yes. This is the login screen. So you log into it as if it was just the Pi. Oh, it's hit something. Now it logs in. Takes a little while to load. Okay, so now we're in. So from here, I can just open the weather station program. And here we are. So, I could be in a completely other room and view the current readings. This could also be used um, over WAN, if you port forwarded the uh, Pi, I think the remote desktop protocol ports are 3389. If you port forwarded that to the Pi and you used the WAN IP, you could connect to the uh, Pi from anywhere and interface it like this. I'll demonstrate the uh, rain gauge. Approximately one teaspoon is about 2.5 milliliters, I think. Pour that into the funnel. Get another teaspoon. That caused the bucket to tip inside, I believe. And some of the water starts to drip. That will send a pulse to the uh, Raspberry Pi. So this is a client that's connected over RDP. If I update the software, it has given us 0.57 millimeters, so I've managed to tip it twice. So I will demonstrate the wind speed now. Currently I have someone spinning it for me, and if I push the update button, it should give a wind speed reading. I have 1.01 .01 meters per second.